Hey guys, I'm Adventure Andy. I'm playing more Fighting Nemo for the PC. This game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. And now we're going to talk to him and give him our totem pole. Here you go, guy. All six totems are here. Good work, kid. So, you'll tell me your secret now? Soon. Go back to the hut and wait. It okay. won't be long. Sounds like a plan. I think this is a really cute scene. Anyway, um, what what they're going to be doing here is actually sort of accepting them into their community. Uh, I guess it's an inaugural sort of thing. It's it's a very funny scene. I guess it's something uh, you kind of remember specifically about the movie. This is definitely that. It, whenever I think of Finding Nemo, this is the first scene I think of. And I, re I remember the Ahuahi Ahoho, like what they're saying right now. I remember this the most fondly. Anyway, that's, um, you know, you don't really need a roll call. Those are all the characters we met before. And he's waiting for us at the top. I think it's kind of weird that they all get together and do this. How do they get the lighting and all that stuff? Uh, Wanahakalugi. I didn't actually get that until I played the game about, like, yesterday. If you are able to swim through the ring of fire! I don't really like this turn. It's one of those stupid jokes where it's supposed to seem epic, but they totally fuck it up. <laughs> He's like, uh, he wants to see the bubbles. Anyway, um, I think that we'll, it'll actually be showing Flo's reflection here in a second. Or Flo. Yeah, like, right here. She'll cover her eyes and then she'll... Yeah, see right there. Oh my god. The moment of truth. Will he make it? Oh my god, he made it. From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Wow, what a nickname. The dentist wants to give you to his niece, Darla. But we can't let that happen. So, we're gonna help you escape. We're all gonna escape. To do that, we have to clog the filter. And you're the only one who can get in and out of that thing. But you have to be a better swimmer to do it. So we're gonna teach you. See those tikis? That's where we start. I know, I don't see the tikis. And what he's saying is that we, since we're small enough, we have to go in and jam something. I'll jam the filter. You. Before and then once the filter's the jammed, we can go through and get into a bag. And it's a very elaborate plot, and it's really cute, you know, showing off, I guess. The correct order. Take a look at this map. Part of this sequence is missing. Uh oh, gotta patterns. Pattern. This is, this is obviously you know one of those educational TV games. TV it's supposed to feel fun. That's so, that's one thing I don't like about all these point and click games. I mean, the only point and click game I played that wasn't supposed to be educational was um, like this. Strong Bad, which is a fun game. It's very hilarious, too. There's the one that was missing. Oh, that bugger. Take too long, you'll run out of time. Yeah, I don't know how long you have to wait for that, but I'd rather not try. Before you know it, you'll be stopping the filter. Yeah. Ready, shark bait? Ready. Okay. Tag the scroll when you want to begin. Shark bait's a terrible nickname. Okay. So we'll tag the scroll right here and we get a pattern. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. And we don't really have to wait for him to keep up. He'll um sort of load the pattern. That's only a problem. We have to wait for him to go and we have to nice. wait and watch Let's him go and do all that stuff. Touch the scroll. Okay. Okay. So now it's red, green, purple. Red, green. There we go. Yeah, real cool. Ready for that filter in no time. Math is fun, children. Do your math. It's fun. Okay. Blue, yellow, red, purple, blue, 
yellow, red, purple. There we go. I normally the pattern the pattern of my practice room wasn't that big. Normally it's about three patterns yeah. there. Three like sort of uh things to tap to repeat. That's it. You sound like Tails, kid. You sound like Tails. I did it! The only one who can get in and out of that thing. A lot of movie here, scenes in this part. A pebble inside there and jam the gears. You do cool. that, and this tank's gonna get filthier and filthier. I remember this scene in the movie. This is another scene that I remember. It, I think it's, this one's very cute as well. Oh, right here. Easter egg. Pizza Palace car, if you, if you pause the video right there. That car's from Pizza Palace and Toy Story. Yeah! Good cool. Work, kid. You're ready but, like, I thought that's a really cool touch, and I never noticed until actually they showed it on the Disney Channel. I, I used to watch the Disney Channel, like I said, in high school musical. But, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Okay, so we take that bag, and we have to go find those pebbles. The pebbles are what I showed you guys before. So, let's go down here. Anyway, yeah, that's a Pizza Palace car, all right. I'll stop dwelling on it, but I just thought it'd be nice to point that out. So, well, I went the wrong way. If you want to, you know, maybe pause the video back at that point. I don't really know what time it was in the video because I'm using Fraps to record this. I kind of got a, I got a clock right next to me to tell me how long I've been recording, but I don't really know what, what point the video was. It's like a regular clock, and I'm just, you know, counting how long it took. Anyway, we'll pick up this pebble and put it in here, and we got to pick up all the pebbles that we clicked on in the said, Oh, I like that pebble. Two down and three to go. Ooh. Very nice. And the way, to tell which pebbles are the pebbles you want, it'll kind of reflect the water, or sunlight rather, more than the others. I'll show you what I mean in a second here. If I can find one. Is there one in this there? Oh, yeah, right there. See, it'll there'll be more sun rays on it than the rest of the pebbles. It just kind of it tries to stand out. It blends in pretty well, unfortunately. Which is kind of annoying. Anyway, I think the last pebble's over by this way, since if we go that way, there's no ground in the area. Okay, where's that pebble again? Is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Ha! I've got all five pebbles. All right. His voice is very annoying. I don't like the change. Anyway, do we have time? Right, geez, I don't really know how long I'm recording exactly. Um. Uh. We might as well go and talk to him. We can at least see the scene. Here you go. I have five pebbles, just like you asked. Oh, and they're all in specific shapes. How convenient. Okay, kid. Your swimming's top notch. And you got the pebbles to stop the filter. You're ready to go in. For a second there, it sounds like when he says you got the pebbles to stop the filter, he means you got the balls. That's kind of funny. I don't know if he means it that way or I, I doubt it's intended that way, but it's very funny. Anyway, once we finish this, it'll trigger another long cutscene. You do it like this, you wait for it to come, and then you throw the right one in. Anyway, for now, I've been Adventure Radio. I'll see you guys later with more Finding Nemo. Goodbye.